Alright folks, today we're going to talk about them uh, SDR IQ recordings. Basically, it's going to allow you folks to record the airwaves. Now, any good SDR software out there will allow you to play back what's called an IQ wave file. Now, what the heck is an IQ wave file? Well, when you fire up them SDR software, uh, most of those software, if they're worth any uh, pile of shit, will allow you to record the IQ. Now, what does that mean? That means if you're tuned to, uh, let's say, 3880 kilohertz, and you got a span uh, covering 192 kilohertz, when you hit that record button, basically you're going to record all the RF within one 92 kilohertz span centered about 380 uh, kilohertz, 3880 kilohertz. All right there, folks. Now, what that means is once you record that IQ file, which is really, it's saved as a WAV file, you can now uh, use that program or another program. Uh, most of them will let you do it. And you can reopen that file and listen to all the radio uh, single shot band stations out there and uh, whatever was transmitting on that frequency span when you hit the record. So basically you're, you're capturing the airwaves, you're saving it to digital data so you can uh, relive the experience of what the RF world was like uh, five days ago or five years ago. It's really quite amazing. Now, SDR Sharp is a very common software. And if you have uh, IQ WAV files, which below this video, I'll post a few of mine up on the, uh, on the website there. So you can download them to your PC and then use all these fancy dancy programs to uh, play the IQ file and demodulate all the various uh, radar, radio signals and everything else. So SDR Sharp, uh, this is how you uh, select a IQ file. You select uh, this uh, pull down right here and then a pop up will pop up and say, uh, where's the WAV file? And then it loads it into SDR Sharp. Another common software you folks like to use out there is what's called HDSDR software. So to load a WAV file in there, you go click the options button down here. This little GUI pops up. You click select input and then you select WAV file. All right. Another one is pretty popular is the old SDR console. You go to this record playback tab over here and then you click the open button. And this little pop-up will pop up here. You go browse to some spot on your C drive there or where the WAV file is. You highlight it and then you click the play button and then it starts playing the spectrum. Now, most of the software, actually all the software, is going to expect the WAV file to be a two-channel WAV file. Why is that? Well, because one channel will be the I data and the other will be the Q data. Uh, all the software is probably going to expect it to be PCM 16-bit format. Um, some do 32, but definitely not all. So if you're going to be saving the WAV file and have the option and want these programs to be able to open them, always a safe bet to save it as a PCM 16-bit file. All right. So an IQ wave file is IQ recordings that can capture, like I said, 200 kilohertz or greater RF spectrum bandwidths. And within one file can be many single sideband signals, AM signals, etc. So see the link below. Uh, some of the files I've had zipped up there. Others will just be the wave file by themselves. They're not that big. Uh, you can just download them to your C drive there and uh, replay them on your own uh, SDR software. 
some examples, uh, what's up there, got the eight meter band, uh, some funny AM radio signals that you can tune in and demodulate, uh, images in the spectrum or the waterfall displays. All right, now you can go experiment with uh, the SDR software and you don't need any of them fancy dancy dongles or antennas. You just, you just install the software on your computer and you just download some of these uh, IQ wave files and uh, you can get started and see all the features and demodulation capabilities you can do with this uh, all these fancy dancy software defined radio packages well thanks for watching folks be sure to click the link below and download some wave files and uh, see how fancy software can demodulate all these uh, iq wave file recordings as usual Thanks for watching and have a great day.